as soon as you get that directional change and it's coming up, they're on it. Like that one right there. Uh, over many years here at the edge, we've discussed new baits, new electronics, new techniques, and new thoughts on a variety of fishing topics. And when it comes to new, there's apparently no shortage of hot and timely trends to help you catch more and bigger fish. Or is there? As Ron Linder once stated, There's really nothing totally new in fishing. Usually it's just modifications. Some lure styles seem to spontaneously rekindle in popularity every few years. Others are consistent fish producers that never go out of style. The one thing they have in common is they still catch fish despite their veteran status. They work better than most other presentations most of the time. You gotta add them to your bag of tricks, especially that sucker there. It's one of the most amazing walleye producers I've ever seen in many years. Today on The Edge, Al Lindner joins old friend and Northwoods fishing guide Billy Rosner on his home waters of Lake Vermilion in northern Minnesota. They're after golden-hued walleyes, which grow big and plentiful amidst nature's scenic splendor. While the duel catches a few fish on traditional jigs and live bait rigs, today Al and Billy primarily go full frontal artificial, vertical jiggy, or casting heavy jigging rapalas along main lake points, humps, and weed lines. It's an age-old ice fishing tactic with a modern twist, applied to open water with amazingly deadly results. What once was old is new again, because if fish haven't seen it before, it's new to them, even feisty vermilion walleyes. I knew I had a good one. I didn't know how big it was, but oh, I knew a, it was. What a she was a good one. That's a beauty. That's a beauty. Closed captioning is provided by Smooth Moves, adjustable boat seat suspensions for a smoother ride. Hey, it's early October, fall in northern Minnesota. You know, if you were to ask me to pick one month out of the year, only one month that you could fish in Minnesota, which month would it be? It would be the month of October. The fishing is so good for every fish that swims big fish and a lot of them. I'm here on beautiful Lake Vermilion, one of Minnesota's best known multi-species trophy fishing lakes. I'm fishing with Billy Rosner uh, out, out of Vermilion Dam Resort and uh, our, Billy and I last year fished below the dam here and fished the lower river. We went out and we caught, caught uh, a northern pike, we caught smallmouth, we caught walleyes and all the years I lived in Minnesota I never fished that river section. And while we were out there, he says, Al, you ought to come back, back up on the lake and do some walleye fishing with me. It's been some years since you've been up there. So he gave me a call last week and he, and he said, I got a few days off, the weather's going to be great. Why don't we come on up and uh, poke around for a few days on the big lake? Here I am. He's loading the boat, he's ready to go. We're going to go do some walleye fishing. It's always fun to come and play in your backyard, Billy. <laughs> With its nearly 40,000 acres of water, 365 islands, and 1,200 miles of shoreline, Lake Vermilion stretches 40 miles across the heart of Minnesota's Arrowhead region. One of northern Minnesota's most picturesque bodies of water, it's the furthest South Canadian Shield Lake. It's hard to find a better multi-species lake. It's got walleyes, largemouth, smallmouth, muskie, pike, panfish. Lake Vermilion has them all. Yeah, don't you love it? That's one of the greatest inventions in the world from Minkota. <laughs> it is so easy. It is so easy. Up, down, you don't have to bend over. You don't have to do anything anymore. You know, the combination of a hummingbird with the Lake Master chip with the Minkota trolling motor. I mean, this thing, a few years back, it was like a dream. Now everything is linked together. It makes fishing so much easier. You know, all these spots that took us 25 years to learn? God, these guys got it easy these days, don't they? Oh, they do. <laughs> what amazes me about the Altair is the time saver it is, how fast it is. You're down, you're in, you're going, you're moving. It sounds kind of silly, but at the end of the day, the, you just have more, your, your line's in the water a lot more. And fish are here somewhere, Billy. And we are going to find them. Yes. 
Here we go, Al. We got a looks like a school of perch on here. Big school of perch with some fish laying right yeah, underneath. Yeah, I see. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm getting in them now. But there was some fish, man. You went through some fish. That probably is though my balls. Yeah, right oh, here. Oh yeah, big, big, ball big pot of bait. Yep, got one. That looks like a pretty good one, man. It is. It's a nice fish, Al. Well, I. Yeah, nice one. Nice fish. I got one too. You got a double. Oh, you got a good one. I got a deep one. You want to double net him? Yeah. Hey, you remember when we were hanging out last night? You know, me, you, Gail. That's my girl. <laughs> you guys are awesome. And then you went to bed. I was tired. You were super tired. And then it was just me and Gail. Mm-hmm. Uh, alone. Ah! What? It's all in the paws. New Shadow Rap from Rapala. We're always looking for a secret to success, like lures, lakes, spots. Here's one mechanics have been using for decades to solve fuel system problems. It's Seafoam Motor Treatment. Seafoam helps do the few important things exceptionally well. Removes harmful engine deposits, controls moisture, stabilizes fuel for up to two years, and adds lubrication to fuel, so engines run cooler and last longer. To me, this stuff is like a miracle in a can. They say that if you turn your passion into your career, you'll never work another day in your life. At Lund, we've turned that passion into building boats for anglers who demand superior fishability, performance, and industry-leading innovation. From our dealers, to our veteran pro staff, to our employees, the Lund family puts their hearts and souls into delivering the ultimate fishing boat that we ourselves are proud to own. That's not a job, that's a lifestyle. For years, they've quietly taken you where the fish are, but now the silence is about to break. With the incredible new iPilot Link, your Minn Kota and Hummingbird can communicate with each other, so you can hold on a spot like an electronic anchor, record and return to waypoints and paths, Follow any Lake Master depth contour and more, all automatically and all from your Hummingbird or the Link remote. They talk and you'll be speechless. This segment is brought to you by Gill. Respect the elements. You got a double. Oh, you got a good one. I got a decent one, though. You want a double net him? Yeah. He gets one good one. I come back on another good one here. Oh, look at it. Oh, I love this. Get them both in there while you're at it. Nice, <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Isn't that sweet? This is what we call a nice guide mess here. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice way to start off. This is like, welcome to Lake Vermilion, Al. It's been a while since we've seen you here. And <laughs> we get two good doubles like this. Billy sets up, he's, I got a good one. I take the jigging ramp, I flip right and back back, and I look over the size of the boat. And he, he says, that is, that's a pretty nice fish. Look at that, huh? Get yours out of there. Oh, man. Oh, nice, nice eyeballs. Like I said, said here's mine. I'm going to put it back. Billy, here, run yours in here. Show us what you got going on that one. Guys, I said, we're blowing around in the wind. We double up on these two. And, and, and this, like I said, this is welcome to Lake Vermilion. <laughs> In, in there, one of the walleye capitals of Minnesota. Big nice. fish, little fish, all sizes. Perfect. I love it, I love it, I love it. Beautiful fall there. day. And we're just starting. Yeah. That fish was a little bit deep. Let's get her back really quick before we lose them. You know, let me show you our, our rod options, what we're doing. Uh, I'm using a jig and wrap to start one of my all-time favorite baits, and it's absolutely deadly on one rod. And I got a moon-eye jig along with a, a four-inch big bite boot tail, jerk minnow. And uh, these are the two baits that I'll be using all day long. Billy has got a jig and a minnow. He got that one big gal on a jig and a minnow. He's got another rod, uh, another uh, one of the St. Croix rigged up with a live bait rig. That's all you're gonna need now. We're, we're, we're set. That's what we'll be using today, and we'll just see what works out the best. 
You know, we got on that double right away, he hit that fish. I took the jig and wrap and fished right back, back in. He lands the fish and all of a sudden I go, thunk. You, you know, that's an encouraging start. I like it. I like it. We got a little bit of a breeze here. We're working this cabbage edge. Al's up there getting a little more aggressive with his jig and wrap. And I'm running the boat here with this handheld and I'm just pulling a rig and uh, it's working out pretty well here. Pretty active over here between bait fish and a few marks. You're seeing a few marks down here. Excellent. There he is. Wally? Yeah. Yeah, small one, but a walleye. This is, here. I don't need a net on here. I'll just pull her in here. You know, these are the kind of fish. Hang on, let me get that jig and ramp out of her, tip of her mouth. Hang on there. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm telling you, these hooks are so sharp. These are the kind of fish that make Minnesota's walleye fishery famous. It's not these big 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 inch fish. People come to Minnesota to catch loads of walleyes like this. And we've got some of the best walleye lakes in the world in Minnesota, well known worldwide. I just name a few, a few of them. Naturally, we're on Vermilion now, and it's, it, it, it's one of the better mixed fisheries with walleyes being at the top of the list. But names like Mille Lacs, Leech, Cass, Winnie, Red Lake, Vermilion, we, we share uh, parts of Rainy Lake and Lake of the Woods with Northwest Ontario. These are really big bodies of water that harbor huge populations of walleyes. And this is what lots of people come up here to fish for. It is the money fish in my home state of Minnesota. In fact, our state fish is a walleye. And it's walleyes like that that make it tick. We're pretty fortunate to have the DNR's hatchery on the east end of the lake. Uh, they put a lot, a lot of fry. I think some fingerlings in here every year. You know, they do a really good job managing the lake. They really take care of Vermillion well. I got one. one. Got one. Nice. Just slow down that drift a little if you can. With that jig and wrap I got. Yeah. He's a good one. We're going to probably swing. I hit spot lock here, Al. Yeah, that spot lock is an amazing tool, yeah, man. It's really nice. Amazing tool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice fish. Real nice. <laughs> oh, come here, come here, come here, baby. We've made our name helping anglers unlock the water's hidden secrets. Hit the switch. It's time to reveal even more. Auto Chart Live gives you the power to build your own high definition maps anywhere in the world in real time. Because when you know the unknown, you can do the unheard of. Auto Chart Live. Only from Humminbird. Mercury engine test. <laughs> Smooth, quiet power you can rely on. It's good to have Mercury behind you. Uncompromising. Like the fishermen who swear by it. Where we headed? Rocks! Better go with the swinging rugby jig! I know what to do, thanks! It's articulated, swinging head! Let soft plastics move naturally and freely! I know! I designed it! Plus, it's got that extra long Z-Bend hook that you love! And oh, it's nice. got the Oops, I'm sorry. Did you say something? Come on, help me! Turn this bag over! Mercury engine test. Easy to maintain performance you can rely on. It's good to have Mercury behind you. The Edge is presented by these and other fine sponsors. 
nice fish. Real nice fish. Oh, oh. oh, come here, come here, come here, baby. All right, all right. Nice fish, Al. That's, that's a beauty there, Al. Look at that baby, huh? Pretty good one, Billy. We've seen enough of them sitting down there. We're due oh. for another, you know, another really good bite. Look at that. Man, there's some nice fish out here now. The lake is really, really healthy. I'm gonna put her back and let's talk a little bit about, we talked about lures, so I wanna touch a little bit of, about rod and reel choices and line for what we're doing. Nice fish, huh? All right, baby. There she goes. You know, the rod and reel line is always important for any presentation. I wanna talk a little bit about the jig and wrap first. I've done a lot of great walleye fishing with this over the years. It's an amazing bait on a lot of bodies of water. The rod choice is important. You want one that has a lot, a very soft tip. In this case, I'm fishing an Icon. This is a, a, a St. Croix rod, rod walleye series Icon. It's a 6'6", medium light. You heard me right, medium light. It's a little deceiving. It's got enough backbone, but it's got a lot of forgiveness in it. These small hooks, if you beef too hard on the fish, you're gonna tear it off. It's, an, it, it's amazing. The hooks are like needle, they hook good, but you can't really put a lot of pressure on the fish, and that's why a lot of people lo lo lose the fish. And uh, uh, I like the cork handle. The icons are great, the walleye series. Cork handle is really neat. I'm comfortable with it. Maybe I'm old school, okay? <laughs> and I still like cork. Line is another key element. Fishing that jig and wrap, I guarantee you, you're gonna catch more, not catch more, you'll land more walleyes if you have monofilament on here, 10 pound test, I got 10 pounds off the, on here. <clears throat> got it, Billy. Mono's got a lot of stretch in it, where you don't have no stretch in braid and you get a little bit of stretch in fluorocarbon. More stretch, the better, the softer rod, the more forgiveness when that big walleye starts shaking his head. If you've got braid and you're fishing that jig and wrap, you're gonna lose a lot of fish. I did just too many years of experience, it's a tip you will not go wrong on in a monofilament for this kind of fishing. And <clears throat> I'm using my other icon, is for ripping, ripping weeds with a moon eye jig and a, a big bite boot tail, a four inch jerk, jerk and boot, boot tail, one of my favorite combinations when I get up into the weeds, it's deadly. This rod is a medium action, got a little bit more, more back, backbone when you gotta rip through the, the weeds. The combinations are really deadly. And uh, uh, St. Croix's action in these walleye series on the icons are a fantastic combination. Put them together, with a, this is Quantum's new, new re reel they introduced, a, th a throttle size 20. Size 20 spinning reel works really great for walleye fishing. It's a great combination. There's no place like this. Catch more and bigger fish with Lindner's Angling Whoa. Edge. AnglingEdge.com has the tools for success, tackle and equipment, adventure destinations, clothing, inspiration, instructional DVDs, and more. Miss an episode? Watch it on YouTube along with cutting edge tips, techniques, and trends. Check out our tactical wear clothing line. Hoodies, buffs, long and short sleeve t-shirts, sunglasses, and a whole lot more. This is your one-stop shop for everything angling. Lindner's Angling Edge, online, anytime. When you're in the business of teaching people how to catch fish, you need to provide anglers with the finest equipment backed with the knowledge of how to use it. It's all about blending science and technology with hardcore fishing experience and passion. 
It's a relentless commitment to quality because it's family, it's personal, oh. and it's all about catching more and bigger fish. There's a real boy there. The Edge is presented by these and other fine sponsors. Look at this. I'm, I'm liking to come back and dip your fish. That's a good one. I can tell on that rod. This has been a good afternoon, you know that? We were talking about that afternoon bite lightening up, up a little bit from the morning bite. Oh, come on, oh my God. Another whopper. Come here. Oh, oh, oh. my man. I'm going to let you show that fish to the camera. Wow. Whoa. Fire. Man, Fire out of look there. at that. Look at There's that. There's a beauty. <laughs> Just a beautiful Lake Vermilion walleye. Nice trophy fish. Gal was saying before, you want to experience some great fall fishing, man. <laughs> Lake Vermilion is where you need to be in the fall. Does it get any better? I don't know. Oh, man. Let's get her back. Thank you, big girl. Beautiful fish. That's another giant, Billy. <laughs> another <laughs> giant, man. Man, this has been fun, and we still got uh, three and a half more hours to fish today yet. I mean, this show is almost over already. I could call it a wrap, but we're going to go jerk on a few more. You know what is interesting this time of the year? There's fish that are doing a lot of different things. There's fish, yeah, if you've got a lake that has a lot of walleyes in it, like vermilion, good year classes of walleyes, you've got fish doing a number of different things. There's always some fish shallow. There's always some fish on traditional deep structure, mid-lake structure. And then there's always some deep fish. Once in a while in summer, you get some suspended fish in, in water like this. But the, uh, the most overlooked fish day in and day out, I believe, are those shallow fish. Earlier, uh, we had a double on, <laughs> on two really big fish. Those fish were fishing the weed line. We were catching those fish in eight to 11 feet of water about. Right now, we're in a slot that is about 21, 22 feet. It's, it's got 15 foot rock ledge there, it's got a 15 foot rock ledge there, and it kind of filters in out of the main lake and goes up into the shallow water bay here. And it's just like a filtering point, and it's all filled with sand in a basin, so I'm not snagging up with a jig and wrap or anything. We're catching fish at a variety of different levels, and that's the thing, a lot of people think all of a sudden I caught my fish at 22 feet. Every walleye in the lake is at 22 feet, come on. Come on, you know better than that. There is fish doing different things in different parts of the lake at different depth levels. And oftentimes the most overlooked fish are the shallow fish this time of the year. Jigging wraps in open water. <laughs> By now, most of you know how effective the jigging wrap is on deep open water walleyes. But if you're finding fish shallow like we are today, the jigging wrap is just as deadly shallow as it is deep. We've caught walleyes in as little as five feet of water. So if the walleyes are moving up, don't put that jig and wrap down. You know, when you fish this jig and wrap, you can slip drift it like I'm doing right now. Right now we're slip drifting with the wind. And I got it out at a pretty good angle. And uh, the further you can get away from the boat, in many conditions, I catch more fish. That bait, the way it works in the water, when you snap that rod, Wait, it'll jump off the bottom, it'll glide to one side, and because of where the eye is positioned on the top of that, that wrap, when you grab it the next time, it'll jump this way. When you snap the rod again, it goes like this. It walks the dog left to right, left to right, and that's what triggers those fish. And uh, like a standard jig, will go up and down, up and down. It's amazing difference what that thing will do on a bite. I mean, there are days that it's like a miracle bite versus any other presentation. It's an amazing, amazing lure. If you're a walleye angler, you've got to add this thing to your bag of tricks. You have to. It's that deadly. And it's simple, just simple. You know, just keep snapping it off the bottom in a hard snap. You really want to snap that rod. You want that bait to really jump. Oh, here's a big EL. You got a good one under us? <laughs> There's a big girl down here. Looks like a giant football. I'll take them. You're due, Al. Uh-oh, that's a better one. You got a spot locked again? Yep, we're good. Okay, good fish, good fish. One thing with these jigging wrap, 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 wraps, you gotta really take these fish easy. 
I mean, the biggest mistake I see people make with that is, is start to beat the fish really hard. Oh, I love it. I love it, Billy. I love it. <laughs> you feel that rod going thunk, thunk, thunk. That looks like at the end of it. That's just a good fish. <laughs> oh, oh, mama. That's there. A be that's a beauty there. Boy, this is a beauty. This is a beauty. <laughs> Those little oh, hooks are something oh, else, aren't they? Sharp. Look at that baby, huh? Oh. Whoa. I knew I had a good one. I didn't know how big it was, oh, but I knew a, it was. What a beauty. She was a good one. That's a beauty. <laughs> That's a beauty. Hey, if you've never been up here in fall on one of these lakes like Lake Vermilion, you know where this fall walleye bite can be so explosive? You're missing a boat. Plan on taking a trip up here in the fall, fall and cash in on what could be the best walleye fishing you'll ever experience. You can check in with Bill, Billy, see what the bite is like. Look at some of the resorts. The, the whole lake is filled with fantastic resorts, fantastic facilities. We happen to be stay, staying at the Vermilion Dam Resort. It's located in a key area. Just giving you some words of advice to catch a walleye of a lifetime. And Vermilion's got them. Hey, this is one of my all-time favorite daily devotionals by Billy Graham, one of my absolute heroes. It's titled, this one is titled, Beware of Angels. Angels minister to us personally. Many accounts in scripture confirm that we are the subjects of their individual concern. In his book, Table Talk, Martin Luther said an angel is a spiritual creature created by God without a body, for the service of Christendom and the church. We may not always be aware of the presence of angels. We can't always predict how they'll appear, but angels have been said to be our neighbors. Often they may be our companions without our being aware of their presence. We know little of their constant ministry. The Bible assures us, however, that one day our eyes will be unscaled and we'll know the full extent of the attention angels have given us each personally. I really enjoyed that one. You know why? I believe in angels. I have a, a piece written in here in uh, uh, two books that my brother and I wrote. This is Reflections at First Light and First Light on the Water, where I had an experience where I fell through the ice. And I believe that I had I guess the best way I can say it, there's no other way for me to explain it, a visit from an angel once in my life. I know what a lot of you are thinking. All I can do is share with you what I believe and what I experience. If you're interested, pick it up, read the article, and you make the decision. Hey, from all of us here at The Edge, you have a good, safe fishing season. We'll see you in the water. Hey, I want to take a moment to thank you for watching. And if you really like what you see, we got a whole lot more. So check us out at any one of these online outlets. You know, in fishing, there are good days and there are great days. Time is just a wink from the Almighty. We plan, target, rig, and play the game like everyone else.